Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a gel polish nail that's quite fancy ish, actually. Yeah, I think it's quite fancy. Right, I've got some. Okay, nail, um, nail reserve sent me some new colours. Uh, a silver, sorry, yeah, silver, a red, and a glittery red, and a white. But I've already shown you the white, I think, because I've I've had the white before so i'm going to swatch these three this is them swatched so that is red addict at the bottom and then this one is city of love and then the silver one is called nightshine so they're quite nice they're gonna be quite nice for valentine's day i do have a discount code which i will put on the screen but i can't remember it off the top of my head so it's on the screen now and you can save some money if you make a purchase so i'm going to use nightshine storm clouds and white addict and lavender i think these colors together are really nice <laughs> so we're going to use all four of these today and you're going to need a palette so pop a bit of each of the different colors on your palette okay so you're going to want to start at the top i've right, i've started at the top i just thought it might be easier to start at the top and i don't know that it would make any difference where you start however i started at the top and i'm going to start with the gray and imagine you are doing a like an easter nail like a cracked easter egg you know with the, the you know the zigzags so all it is is lots of zigzags i'm going to fill in the top bit just so that there we go just so that it's it's easier right so i'm going to flash cure that now so that is going to be like our starting point and from there why can i hear i, I think it's a fire engine I don't know um anyway um so from here we're gonna add just lots of very sort of thick zigzags i had to ask in the nail sugar admin group um what this pattern was what the design was sorry because i haven't got a clue apparently it's called herringbone <laughs> thank you lolly <laughs> oh dear so yeah so this is a herringbone design so at least i know what to call the nail now Right, when you go, as you go down the nail as well, you want to make sure that all of the zigzags that you do are all the same, or, or as close to the same width as possible. Otherwise, it's gonna, it's gonna make, it's, yeah, you, you just wanna make them as, as equal as possible. So again, I'm just gonna flash kill that, and then I'm gonna go in with my next color, and I'm gonna go in with lavender. I think this is the last zigzag I show you because it's just very samey, and I don't want to bore you too much, because, you know, people like short snappy videos these days, don't they? I know some people like the longer version. I think personally, I quite like the longer version. Um, I have just like, I've kind of come to the conclusion if I want a longer style video to watch, then I'll go to YouTube. If I want a short snappy video, then I'll head off to TikTok. But I don't really go on TikTok that much. Every now and then I'll put it on and, and I'll, I'll be like mesmerized by it for about an hour and I'm like, ugh. Oh, just spent an hour of my life on tiktok what is going on <laughs> so anyway there we go that is the purple bit done i'm going to flash cure that right every time i go to a different section i will just flash cure it before i move on and i've gone all the way down the nail with all the different colors and i've cured it and then what i initially i'd done was i took my um gel paint my madame glam gel paint and i started to write on the sorry um, paint on the stripes however i wipe them off and i'm going to top coat it first so i'm using the velvet matte top coat for this just because it just smooths the nail out and it just makes it easier to add those lines so i've cured that and then we're going to use the gel paint to do our thin lines now the lines in some places don't look as thin as others however don't panic yet because it's it's salvageable so don't panic right every time right can you see every where the zigzag is you do a line when the zigzag goes down and a line where the zigzag goes up do you can you see what i'm doing i think you see what i'm doing and then we're gonna put on here this one went a little bit wonky i missed i missed the purple a bit so you can you, can, you just kind of need to make sure the zigzags are nice and straight as well okay and then this one here Right. 
Also, I'm having issues with my own detailer brush at the moment. I don't know what it is with this one. This one's got a random bristle that likes to poke out. I really need to cut it off because it's it's really annoying me. Right, okay, so where the where you get the now where you get those diagonal lines, you're just gonna draw little like curves. Curve and then curve. And the lines are gonna go the same way all the way down. So curve it. Curve it. Do you, do you see what I'm doing? Sort of you just sort of curve it. And it looks like a leaf shape. And you just go all the way down. And it, like I was thinking, oh, I don't know that this is going to look very good because this line's thicker than this line and that line's thinner there. And, you know, but actually it, it was, it's one of those designs that I feel is quite forgiving. Yes, it is a little bit faffy, but I think it looks really nice at the end. See, look, it's already coming together. <laughs> so when I'm doing it the other side, the kind of the leaf just sort of goes in the opposite direction. And then you just sort of repeat the, the process like down this side as well. And you just do it on all of the, um, like where the diagonal lines are. You just want to make a slightly curved line so that it looks like a leaf. And then I do do it on the other side as well. See, I had a bit of a boo-boo there. But you, you can kind of just sort of neaten it up and it's not it's not too noticeable until you point it out. So we're just going to finish off doing down this side. So tomorrow, tomorrow's video is actually a, it's like a full set. Um, I know I've only done like a couple of single nails this week, but that's all I've managed to get done. But look, that's it. So I'm going to pop that into the lamp for 60 seconds. And then I'm going to no wipe top coat it with shiny top coat because I think this looks actually really nice shiny. You can just leave it as it is and have it matte because Madame Glam's gel paints don't have a tacky layer so they don't need top coat in. But I just think this one looks so much nicer shiny. It kind of reminds me of a like a lamp, like a Tiffany, is it a Tiffany lampshade? You know, that kind of thing. Or you could have just top coated seg like certain segments with the shiny. Anyway, that's it finished. I hope you like it. If you did, please leave a like if you haven't already. Do consider subscribing. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. God bless, love you all. And I'll see you in the next one. Love you, bye.